This is a level one functional skills maths paper from Edexcel. It splits into two parts. In part one, you can't use a calculator, but you can in part two. There are 14 marks in part one. Answer all questions, write your answers in the spaces provided. Question one, Jack is given a record of the number of steps he takes each day. Work out the range of the number of steps. So as we know, range is taking away the smallest value from the highest value. And looking at the numbers, this is the highest, 15,323 steps. And this is the lowest, 8,565. So I'm going to subtract. OK, so we need to take away 5 from the 3, which means we need to borrow 1 here. So this becomes 13, take away 5 equals 8. And we've got to take away 6 from the 1, which again means we need to borrow 1 from here to make it 11, and this becomes a 2. 11 take away 6 is 5. Again, 5 to take away from the 2, we need to borrow 1 from 5. So 12 take away 5 is 7, 14 take away 8 is 6, so 6,758. Show a check of your calculation, so I'm going to do the opposite now, so I'm going to go 6,000 758 add 8565 and I will see if it adds up to 15323. So 8 and 5 makes 13, so 3 down and 1 carried over. 6 and 5 is 11 and another one that is 12, so 2 down, 1 carried over. 7 and 5 is 12, and another one, 13. 6 and 8 is 14, and 1, 15. So we've done the calculation correctly. Work out one quarter of 24, so one quarter means splitting the amount into four equal parts and just taking one of them. So 24 divided by four, and that is six. Work out minus five plus three, or negative 5 plus 3 would be more accurate. So starting from 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. And we're going to start from this point and go up by 3. So 1, 2, 3. So that's the answer. Write 6.384, correct to one decimal place. So correct to one decimal place, it means we can have just one digit after the decimal point. And to decide whether we keep this as 6.3 or make it 6.4, we're going to look at the digit on the right to the last digit. So that is an 8, and that means we're going to round up. So we're going to go for 6.4. 
Alan works at a warehouse in Runcorn, a furniture company needs deliveries from Runcorn to Liverpool, Runcorn to Natwich. Alan needs to work out the total delivery charge for these deliveries. He uses this map. And we've got a scale which says one centimeter on the map is 10 kilometers on the ground. So first of all, I'm going to connect these places. So we've got Runcorn to Liverpool. And so using a ruler. And I'm going to measure this distance using a ruler. Should be a bit straighter. And we've got then Runcorn to Natwich. Two point seven centimeters is this distance, and four point two centimeters is this one. Island uses this delivery charges. We've got distance from Hong Kong and then the charge in pounds. So less than twenty kilometers costs nine pounds ninety nine pence. Between 20 kilometers and 35 kilometers is 14 pounds 99, and over 35 kilometers, 24 pounds 49. Work out the total delivery charge, show how you get your answer. So we're gonna use the scale now to work out the distance on the ground. So we've got 2.7, and 4.2. We're going to do them separately because they are two separate journeys. So 2.7. We've got a scale here which says one centimeter on the map is equal to 10 kilometers on the ground. So what about 2.7 centimetres? How many kilometres will that be on the ground? To get from 1 to 2.7, we've multiplied by 2.7. So we need to do the same thing on the other side. And that gives us 27. The 27 kilometres, where does that sit? That is between 20 and 35. So the cost is £14.99. Now we'll repeat the process with the 4.2 centimetres. So again, one centimetre is equal to 10 kilometres. What about 4.2 centimetres? To get from 1 to 4.2, we multiply it by 4.2. So we do the same over here. So that is equal to 42 kilometres. That is over 35, so the cost for that will be £24.49. And we need to work out the total delivery charge, so we're going to add them together. So 14.99 add 24.49. 99 is 18, one carried over, 10 and 4, 14, 9 and then 3. So 39 pounds and 48 pence. John works Monday to Friday. He buys his lunch on his way to work. Each day, John buys a sandwich, a bottle of water, and a bag of crisps. John thinks he will save more than £7.50 a week if he buys his lunch each day from shop B instead of shop A. Is John correct? You must show you're working. So let's compare them. So if buying from shop A, you'd have to spend 
285 60 pence 85 pence and working out the total for those 5 and 5 is 10 8 and 8 is 16 and 6 is 22 and 1 23 so 3 down and 2 carried over that is £4.30 every day and he works Monday to Friday so that is 5 days of the week So we're going to multiply this by 5, 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 3 is 15, so 5 down and 1 carried over, 5 times 4 is 20 and the 1, 21, so 21 pounds 50. From shop B, 3 pound a meal, so that is 5 days times three pounds that is 15 pounds in total so comparing them to 2150 take away 15 11 take away 5 equals 6 so 6 pounds 50 so he's saving exactly 6 pounds 50 not more than seven pound fifty. So is John correct? No, he's not. And we've shown the working out to support our decision. No, he saves six pound six pounds fifty. Okay, so this is the end of the first part.